Hello, House of Lydia, business cohort. I wanted to take a couple minutes just to talk about what we'll be doing this year in this cohort and how we're gonna best support you. First off, I just wanna briefly talk about how the name came about for House of Lydia. Uh, in scripture, it talks about a businesswoman who was known as a woman of developing products of uh, purple color. And she was a business owner. Not only that, but she was dominating her industry. Uh, she was very innovative and entrepreneur in that part of the world, especially for women at that time. It was very unlikely for a woman to be in a position of power when it came to business or even to own her business. So we see that her innovation and entrepreneurship is prevalent. In addition to that, she used her resources to be a servant and be hospitable. And so I'm hoping that as you go through this year, you focus on how your impact can be done for you personally, but also impact your local and global community. She was an individual of wealth, but she also had a balance about her, that her wealth did not allow her to get to the point where she was not a servant, and her balance demonstrated that she created uh, a presence of getting things done and being creative. And so when we chose this name for this house, it was based upon those principles that she demonstrates in the scripture. And so we hope for you this year that you will be able to demonstrate the same thing as you're exploring these different areas. So again, welcome to the House of Lydia, the business cohort. This year, your advisors will be myself, Mr. DeBoer, Ms. Countryman, and Mrs. Kalina. We are excited to be a part of this group as we all have an interest when it comes to business. Some of us have some businesses experiences, um, and so we all will be bringing that to our conversations. Looking at this group, there's a lot of creativity and a lot of brainstorming that we can help nearly any idea become a reality this year. So our role as an advisor is to do exactly that, is to advise and provide direction. This is not a school class, but so we will not be doing the work uh, as much as we would in a normal class, but we want to advise and give direction. We want you to be successful. The idea that you put down on paper that got you into this cohort, we want to see happen. So whatever we can do to make that work and happen, we're excited to do. We want to come alongside, and as I said, this creative group that wants to brainstorm. We don't want barriers to ever get in the way this year for you being successful. We're going to provide constructive feedback, meaning that if your idea needs work, it needs work and it's not an attack towards you or your idea. It's just that we want your idea, we want you to be as successful as possible. So we're gonna ask a lot of questions. Why do you wanna do this? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get it done? So we're excited to come alongside of you. We will be forming some sub cohorts. These are the sub cohorts that we're using in the past, depending on where we land with how many students are in each. We'll kind of determine about these groups, but more than likely we'll have three. When it comes to if you want to create a product, if you want to offer a service, or if you're just interested in investing, these are the sub cohorts that we'll look at. When we start and get into week to week, and especially next week, we'll talk more about the different sub cohorts. We're going to talk more about your proposal ideas and how we can support that. We want to connect with you as an advisor, but we also want to connect you with others, experts in the field, or experts in the community known as a community advisor. And then lastly, we want to introduce something called the circle advisor, which we'll get into more next week. But briefly what that means is that this entire cohort will be divided into smaller groups, and then each of us cohort advisors will have a circle that we're responsible to check in with you weekly and do all we can to help you. If there's going to be any questions about anything, please reach out to the cohorts today. If they can't answer it, we will collectively meet and be able to answer your questions next week. But again, we're excited for you all to be a part of the House of Lydia, and we're excited to see what your ideas that God has given you become a reality, hopefully this year or years to come, and see how they can impact you personally and the world around you. We're excited that you're a part of this group.